Did you know that with print on demand, the average profit margin for a printed custom t-shirt can be as low as just $2 per shirt? Considering the high production costs and high shipping costs, many print shops find it very challenging to scale their business sustainably and turn a profit with just print on demand alone. Stick around and learn about the ugly truth about print on demand that you should be aware of and an alternative method that might be better suited for your business. Print on Demand, or POD for short, is a service that allows you to create custom products and fulfill them only when an order has been placed. This means that you don't have to worry about holding inventory or deal with large upfront costs in terms of equipment. Some popular print-on-demand services include Teespring and Printful. These platforms will handle everything from production to shipping, making it very convenient for print shops. So what makes print on demand so appealing for different print shops? First off, the low upfront cost makes it very accessible for businesses that are just starting out or looking to scale without upfront investment. In addition, because you don't have to worry about inventory, you don't really need a warehouse or storage space for that inventory, and you don't have to worry about overstocking or understocking certain items. You can quickly get set up with an online store with different designs and start selling them right away without having an extensive setup process. One of the first major issues to consider with print on demand is quality control. POD products vary greatly in terms of their quality, and oftentimes you don't have as much control as you would with in-house production. This can obviously lead to batches of subpar products that then get sold and end up with dissatisfied customers or even refunds. Another major issue with print on demand is the low profit margins. Due to the high production costs and expensive shipping costs that are associated with print on demand services that then just drop ships to your customers, you are oftentimes left with super low profit margins and find it unsustainable to scale in the long run versus having the production in house. Finally, shipping and fulfillment delays are also very common with print on demand. Because these print on demand services often print and fulfill from very locations, it could take a while before the products actually reach your customers. So now that I've uncovered some of the hidden truths about print-on-demand services, let's explore a much more profitable alternative, which is in-house production. With in-house production and fulfillment, you really have full control over the production process, therefore minimizing the possible delays to your customers. You also have greater flexibility in your product offerings, depending on what type of equipment you have and what type of services you're looking to provide. And Finally, one of the pros of having full control over your production process is obviously the faster turnaround time, especially for small and custom orders. Now, obviously the cons to consider with bringing production in-house is the fact that you need some upfront capital to invest in the right equipment, as well as the learning curve if you're going to operate the machinery yourself or look for skilled labor to operate the machine for you. But if you're able to overcome those initial challenges and the hurdles of the learning curve, you're really able to set yourself up for long-term growth and long-term sustainability in scaling your business because you have that control over the entire process. You might be wondering, well, which one should I go with? If you're just starting up in the business and have no prior experience operating any machinery and you just wanna test a proof of concept, then the print-on-demand route might be the best fit for you. Now, assuming that you already have a proof of concept and now you're in the stage of growing your business, this is where you might wanna consider having a balance of print on demand and also transitioning some of the production in-house. All right, so let's go through a real life example using one of these print on demand services and see the profit potential or the profit margins that you're able to get by using that print on demand service versus doing that same t-shirt in-house. Printfort uses direct garment printing for their t-shirts. So when we uploaded a design to Printful to see what it will cost to fulfill that item, you can see here that it will cost costs typically between $12 and 10 cents to $20 and 10 cents. This does not include any shipping fees. Uh, with shipping fees, let's say just $5, this t-shirt could easily end up costing you $20 to make. Now let's run through a pretty common scenario as a small print shop receiving a custom order of 100 printed t-shirts. 
Now, let's say that you're able to sell those t-shirts to your customers for about $25 per t-shirt. If you're able to do that, your revenue for that 100 piece order would be $2,500. Your cost will be $2,000, making you a profit of $500 for those 100 shirts. If you wanna calculate your profit margin, your profit margin would be 20% for this particular order. Now, in terms of turnaround time, because you're using the print-on-demand service for a sizable order like 100 t-shirts, the estimated turnaround time is going to be between seven to 12 days. So that's about one to one and a half weeks for you to fulfill that order to your customers. Now, if you were to fulfill that same order in-house, the cost of your t-shirt plus the materials, such as the ink that will go onto the t-shirt during printing process, will be around $7 per shirt. That cost can be even lower if you have wholesale accounts with blank suppliers so that you can get wholesale pricing for your blank t-shirts, giving you a profit margin of 72% for that 100 t-shirts. Now, in terms of the turnaround time, instead of seven to 12 days, you can easily turn around that order in a single day. But let's say if we're being even more conservative, you can spread it out over several days and you can easily be able to fulfill that order within two to three days. Now, of course, you do have to consider the fact that you need some upfront capital to be able to invest in the right equipment to be able to fulfill those orders in-house. But given the fact that companies like us here at Recoma do offer financing options for qualified customers, you're able to break up that equipment cost into affordable monthly payments over time and save some of that cash flow. That profit can go towards paying off your machine and many people find that if they're having the right volume and orders coming in, they can easily pay off their machines in a matter of months. So if you're currently using print-on-demand services and you're considering bringing some of the production in-house to gain the higher profit margins and more control over the process, as I mentioned before, these are some tips that you can consider and steps in which you can take to make that transition as smooth as possible. First, since you're already using a print-on-demand service, you can log in to your account and see what it will cost for certain types of designs by uploading that design and seeing what is it that they will charge you to fulfill that order. This will allow you to calculate the cost and margins based on the anticipated volume that you're looking to sell. Next, sign up for some wholesale accounts from blank apparel suppliers, similar to the ones that you find on these print-on-demand services. This will allow you to get an idea of what it will cost you in terms of purchasing these blank apparel to fulfill the orders in-house. Finally, look at the cost of similar equipment and techniques that these print-on-demand services use to fulfill these orders. For example, Printful uses a DTG printing or direct-to-garment printing. You can look at what similar direct-to-garment or direct-to-film printers will cost you to fulfill in-house. Then find out how much that piece of equipment will cost you to finance it on a monthly basis and use that calculation to go into your profit margin calculation so you understand what it will cost you to maintain that equipment over time. Also keep in mind that there are less costly alternatives to direct-to-garment printing or direct-to-film printing that you can invest in so that you don't have to have that much upfront cost in the beginning. For example, here at Recoma, we offer white toner DTF and sublimation printers that are more of an entry-level price point for you to get started. If you're interested to check out any of our printing equipment like our DTG and DTF printers or these white toner DTF and sublimation printers that I'm telling you about, make sure to check them out in the card above or down in the links below. Just speak with the product specialist and they can guide you into the right equipment that can fit your needs and your budget. Overall, just know that when you're transitioning from print-on-demand to fulfillment in-house, start small and scale gradually. All right, you guys, so in conclusion, while print-on-demand services could be an attractive option as you're starting out, especially because of its low cost of entry and no need to manage any inventory, the long-term benefits of in-house production, especially with the higher profit margins and full control over the entire production process in terms of quality and turnaround time, really will put you in a better position to grow your print shop if you're looking to scale. All right, you guys, let me know down in the comments if you use a print-on-demand service currently or if you have experience using print-on-demand in the past and are transitioning into in-house production and how has that worked out for you. Like always, thank you so much for watching and until next time.